I, okay, this is, I've never been on one of these, by what? the way, ever. What? But I've seen a lot of people. Oh <laughs> okay, better, <laughs> gotta explain the pen. There was just a George, a George Takei pen, uh, and it's got his face all over it, and it says, oh my, and then our lovely technician uh, mentioned that if we press the thing, that it actually says oh my as yeah. well. So uh, it's going to be coming up intermittently uh, throughout the podcast. <laughs> At uh, the most appropriate moments, the, only. Uh, only? Are you only. sure? Um, but, uh, but I've seen a lot of people ride it. Oh, right. We're talking, we're talking about the Sibian uh, now, the not Sibian, the pen. Not the George Takei pen. <laughs> You've seen a lot of people Red riding George Takei oh. pens all over town. All over town. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> at, um, you know, at, at the neighborhood. Watering hole? Neighborhood <laughs> sex club. Uh, people are riding the Sibian. There are some nights where... Yeah, uh, yeah they, they actually... I was one of the people that brought my Sibian in, and then they really liked it, so they got their own. And then um, there's another person that was there way before me who had, like, like dual... Like, wait, what is it? Battling Sibians. So it was like he had two. So, like... It, on opposite sides that you just had, you know, whoever wanted to be riding it and whoever was controlling it. And yeah. he's like, diddle in and in and like, come on, like who's gonna come first? <laughs> oh my God. I oh, hope fuck. that I hope the dueling banjos song was playing. I know I'm going, I don't remember what it <laughs> sounds like, but it's like, yeah, it's but, not whatever came out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the mariachi thing. That's crazy. Yeah, and I and I've just um I, I felt like I wanted my first experience with it to be private. Like, <laughs> oh, this is as private as you can get. We got a couple of angles all it's, over you. We got yeah, just there's blasting to people the on the street. There's people. Oh in. yeah, there's people on the street. They can totally let's get their attention. Oh my fucking Hi, god! Guys. A woman Hi. just went by with a pussy hat. Did you see? I saw. I saw something. <laughs> I saw a pink hat, but I didn't realize it was a pussy. Yeah, it was a oh, pussy. Meow. Oh meow, baby. <laughs> 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 this is just how our podcasts always seem to go, isn't it? I know. We talk about literally nothing. Um, <laughs> but it's so great. <laughs> um, okay, so tell me um, the first time you're you're pretty sweet with people. Mm, yes, yeah. right, right. We're going so back some, to that, aren't we? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> back to the just, task at hand. So, so you turn right back <laughs> onto the road. Um, so what is a typical scene session like with you then if it's not that very sweet kind of self-exploration okay so if they have an idea of what they're into and what they they're not into and they'll usually come in and um uh the good boys will will be standing uh just kind of patiently sitting or something just like you know waiting instead of just like lying on the bed just expecting and i'm like okay because it's like you should be welcoming me as I, I enter you should be looking for any opportunity to get my attention and the ones that know I know right away and I treat them real damn good so that's a little tidbit if you guys have never actually seen a dom before make sure that you're either on your your knees and you're just like you're waiting very patiently like a prim and proper little thing mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. just make sure that you you say like you know welcome mistress or like you ask them how their day is because I swear to god that is the best way to get them in a good mood if they are in a bad mood and you're just like standing there and just like expecting them to to uh, I guess make the first move, which is fine. Like I definitely don't mind starting a conversation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you know, it's like oh hello, mistress. Like you're acknowledging their presence, and that makes us feel nice. Yeah. Yes. So that's a good way to start. Yeah. So it's like okay. So as soon as uh, they're like oh hello, mistress. You know how's your day? Mm-hmm. It's just like ah oh, you know what I'm feeling. Uh, I'm I'm feeling a little bit of. Uh, Fun. I feel like I should do something uh, interesting today. It's like, you know, you start a scene by having a little bit of playful things. And I do go, uh, even if I've seen them a million times, I make it a habit of just being like, what do you want to try today? Because what we did last time might not necessarily be what you feel like doing today. Or maybe you saw something interesting on porn and you're just like, I want to try that. Yeah. I do a lot of ball busting. A lot of people come in to be like, I've never tried it. I've seen a lot of your videos. Mm. It looks like you enjoy it. And I usually start to giggle at this point because I get really excited. (laughs) How does one ease into ball busting? Can you? Yes, you you can ease into it if you've never done it before. I I did have uh, somebody come in recently who um, had been a huge fan of mine for a couple of years and has bought a lot of my videos. And it was just like, I have never tried it before and I'd really like to try it I'm like okay 
You've never done it before. Yeah. I am going to simply squeeze them with my left hand okay. because my left hand doesn't have as much strength as my right. <laughs> <laughs> and we will just see how you can handle that. If you are okay with that, we'll go to my right hand. If you're okay with that, we'll go to like, you know, uh, squishing. So like, I'll just like trample them with my feet and Ooh. I'll just lightly squish. And then I'll start doing nice, like little light taps with my toe. And it depends on how much they can take. And I do go, I use a, a number scale. So from one to 10, 10 being like, they can't Unbearable. breathe. Yeah. Like they're dying. on the floor crying. So um, you ask them to say the number. Yeah. And as I you're like to, I like to stick around five for a warm up. Yeah. So five is a nice, like, you know, like, whatever. It's, it's a warm up. And then I like to push it up to an eight. I don't really want to hit a nine, 10 yeah. unless they've been bad. <laughs> <laughs> Or they're really into pain or they're really experienced. Yes. Um, or you've been with them and you yeah. know what they yeah, like I and can handle. And Definitely need to n- get to know people's body language. The first time I meet someone, it is really more like an introduction. Yeah. We do take the time. I take as much time as the person needs if they're super nervous to calm down. Mm-hmm. I've actually had to do breathing exercises with people. Wow, people are actually like panic. Yeah, like panic. Because yeah, they're just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I don't want to fuck up. I don't want to fuck up. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to tell you what to do. You're going to fucking breathe. You're going to sit down and you're going to breathe. You're going to put your hands in your lap. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to breathe in when I tell you. You're going to exhale when I tell you. And that's that's what I have to do until they Sometimes are Sometimes okay. that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah. I think something that might be an interesting thing. <laughs> fucking Sibian. Right when I forget it yep. about it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, you know. I just forgot. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this like vi- Oh boy. Oh lord. Yep. What are we at right now as for percentage? Uh, 60, 60%. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It, it's uh, pretty fucking good now. Oh wow. Yeah. I'd be, I might be a little nervous to use this without pants. It's insane. Like, with pants. I with jeans. Yeah, you're in jeans. It's, it's insane. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, through jeans. Yeah. It's crazy. Yep. I, I bring this to parties. Um, I usually do sexy brunches with my girlfriends. Really? Yep. Um, the last time that we did a sexy brunch um, and I brought it, uh, we had all the, the ladies ride it and uh, we fed them oysters while they were riding it. And oh, wow. Decadence. Oh, it was so good. We fed them chocolate as they were riding it. And it was just oh like. Oh, my. They just rode it till they were happy. Damn. And I love um, teasing people to no end. Like, well, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> something you like just, just, just a little bit uh, I love um, kind of finding buttons mm-hmm. and like like just, I don't know it's it's so it's interesting to describe but uh, it's like getting into the zone like you know when uh, you meet someone and you gel really well with them it's like you're on the same page and then there's other people where you're just like awkward and it's stiff and it's like you don't really seem to to know what to say um I have to find a nice like wavelength with the person and I love being so in tune with someone that I can just control their body and like control their twitches and control like their their even thinking. It is so good to bring somebody to that point of I know they're so close to finishing and then just backing away. Yeah, so the orgasm denial, yeah. right? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. And just even just making it last even even a minute or two longer it makes it seems it's gonna be the longest minute you've ever of your life oh fuck yeah <laughs> oh honey <laughs> oh lord okay mm. that said um men are mostly the people that come and see you professionally what would you say the percentage is yeah the majority are guys um i just i honestly i never ever ask them about their sexual orientation i call everyone sluts Great. <laughs> unless yeah. they unless they're like um they are an actual like brat and they they want to be a bratty guy and then it's just like oh you're such a naughty boy other than that i try to keep like things pretty neutral because gender neutral yeah because i do have a lot of people that um start off kind of in a male stereotypical like male mentality where they want to be like um kind of stripped so i'll go from like a male uh adjective and then move to neutral and then like call them like little like 
good girl sluts mm-hmm. kind of type things or bitches or whatever the heck they they like because I do I do give them room to tell me or give me suggestions because a lot of the times like all humans are not mind readers I'm pretty fucking good at reading body language yeah, you have to with but what you do. there are certain words that people like some people don't like to be called a bitch some people don't like to be called a slut and yeah, other people times people are like triggers. Oh, yes. people have yeah mm-hmm. so it's one of those like I deal with so many people and they're giving me such a vulnerable piece of them that yes. I really really do need to watch my language when it comes to you know beginners unless yes. I've gotten to know them oh man I had this one guy come in and he was so much fun uh he came in and he was like he came in as a, a guy and he's just like I, uh, I've been a naughty boyfriend and uh, my girlfriend has sent me to you wow. to learn a lesson wow I was like I love your girlfriend I love her oh love my you. god let's do it mm-hmm. and so um but then he he started turning more into he's like oh yeah it's just like you're oh man uh I can't I can't believe this is what it feels like to be a girl I'm like oh okay okay so then I started calling him a her yeah. and he loved it and I, I was just like giving him more uh uh, female cues. Yeah. And he was t- so into it. I was like, yes. No. He's like, I've never actually done that, but be- like intense before. Holy fuck. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You got it in <laughs> his like, brain. Bring, yeah. Bring your girlfriend in and I'll, I'll, oh man, I will, I will show her so many things. <laughs> and she's just like, I'll talk to her. Is, <laughs> is that a thing you'll do? I love- will you bring in the girlfriend then Hell and yeah. have a session with her in like oh, yeah. teaching her how to do? I have thing? a lot of I have a lot of guys that um, like prostate massages. Yeah, but they don't know how to tell their wives or their partners, it's or just to like, tell them how to do it. Yeah, or- they're they're like I'm really awkward about her knowing this side of me, and I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, this is what we'll do: book an hour, you. And uh, you and me will talk a little bit about what you want to express to her. Then I will talk to her one on one to see what she she thinks about you know what's going on and everything, and what she expects out of the the relationship. And then um, uh, we'll we'll all chat together. It's kind of like therapy. It's a group it's just, therapy. It is. And then I go, okay, it's so like, are you comfortable? Like, like usually, okay, in a, a prostate scenario. Yeah. Uh, he'll he'll be like, I just want her to uh, play with my butt more, yeah. and then I'll talk to her. It's like, are you comfortable playing with his butt? Yeah. And it's either a yes or a no. If it's no, then I have to explain to him this is not her thing. You cannot expect her to do this. And if she says, yeah, I'm into it, then it's like, okay, let me show you how to. Because a lot of times um, people don't know the anatomy of it, or they don't yeah. know what to look for, they don't know what to do. So that's when I teach them. Yeah. And it's just hilarious. And then we we usually end up just all three of us having a fucking just huge playtime. Yeah, just really all three fun. of you yeah. together having a session. Yeah, you're not against that. No, nope, no. Nope. So you're kind of the director <laughs> yeah. of the scene, oh, or, man. or it's whatever. It's great. I get to yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Pick your own porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to flick through the channels and just. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I get to flick through the channels whenever I want. <laughs> oh, that Sibian is something. Oh. That's an interesting setting. Nice and low. Wow. Okay. It's like I'm riding a tractor. She thinks my tractor's sexy. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. It on is it a car engine? What what is in this thing? There, there's a lot of shit going on. What right is in this? Is this um the most powerful vibrator that people know of is kind of the the plug in magic wand, right? Hitachi? Yeah. Is that the one you're talking yeah, about? But yeah. The, yeah, but they don't use that name anymore. Really? Oh my god, I yes. have three of them. They don't use Hitachi anymore. They don't want their Hitachi oh, associated with so the sex funny. toy. But it's not. It's a, It's a just it's a, a massage. It's a body massage. Yeah, right. It was on Oprah. 